It's good to have everybody here. <clears throat> we also have Alana from Down Under, Ben and Cass, Geraldine, and the Fafinator. <clears throat> Oh, that would be fun. <clears throat> All right, if you will, turn with me to Galatians chapter 2. Do you know which verse I'm going to go to? If 19 is exactly right. That's where I'm going. Galatians 2, 19. Thank you very much for the uh, total deep insight into where the Lord was going tonight, <clears throat> even though you were joking. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, I'd like to look at this scripture. Um, I'd like to take some parts out of this verse so that maybe you can see something eternally uh, significant. Um, a lot of times we get wrapped up in the law or what's the law or am I under the law or I'm free from the law and all that. <clears throat> but I want to... I want to just remove that little part so that you can actually see the real issue, whether it's the law or the next verse that doesn't include the law, so that we can comprehend uh, the heart of the Lord as Paul is trying to communicate it instead of the doctrines that we embrace as Christians. So, uh, 219. First, I'll just read the scripture. For I, through the law, am dead to the law that I might live unto God. <clears throat> okay, so um, I want to just take out that little phrase, through the law, <clears throat> and then uh, to the law, both of those, through the law and to the law. Now listen as I <clears throat> read it without that. For I am dead that I might live unto God. Yes. Hello. For I am dead that I might live unto God. Okay. Do you, see the, do you see the significance of that? Do you see that that is bearing down a lot deeper than just an issue <clears throat> of some com commandments that were given a long time ago, but this is actually relating to us the heart of God that, there, that the purpose for our death is that we might live unto God. Okay, so let me start with a few little things here, even as I unravel the complications of your life. I mean, of this cord. Okay, um, I need, there it is, thank you very much. <clears throat> okay. Okay, what we have on the board <clears throat> is the common, <laughs> the common way that we face the truth, <clears throat> the truth as it is in Jesus. We come on sort of a picturesque theological manner instead of stepping into breathing what we're into, if I can put it that way, not actual breathing, but that flowing within us and keeping us alive. <clears throat> and so the truth of being in Christ and Christ in us, and this becomes, <clears throat> excuse me, it'll take me a few minutes to knock the, the carbon off my carburetor. Anyway, this, uh, this reality is, again, more than a circle on a chalkboard or a little guy you know, talking about Christ being in him or in us. <clears throat> it is being joined into, okay, being joined into in a living 
breathing, as it were, person. Person. See, not a doctrine, not some thing that we can conjure up in our mind and say this is it, but this actual person that we have been made one with, that we have come into union with, <clears throat> that we have joined into, and as we have, we have actually joined into, and this will be explained more as we go, Lord willing, we've joined into the I am. Okay. <clears throat> the I am. And what I mean by that is we have joined into something that isn't done. We've been joined into something that was and is and is to come. See, see Jesus said that, didn't he? He said, I, you know, I am... You know, and then he said, he that was and is and is to come. See, the I am was and is and is to come and is non-negotiable. Non-negotiable. It is settled. Okay. And I'll explain that even more because even our understanding of settled is, oh, praise God, it's a work. Okay. But we're not talking about a work here. <clears throat> and we talked in the last little thing, get together that we had, <clears throat> we talked about this relationship and I had a bigger distance between the two, but we had a big arrow pointing up and, and we said, and pointing down and we said that nothing comes in, in Christ in us, or if you want to put the lamb in us, nothing is produced except it come from this place of I am. Nothing. So every attempt for the lamb that is not firmly drawing juice from the vine, because see, we have this thing where in Christ is up here and, and Christ in us is down here. But the truth is that can easily be reversed. For example, if, if, uh, if this was a vine branch relationship, then the vine, and you, you, I'm sure you know this, a vine, most vines don't really have a trunk. It's just all branches, except when it hits the ground and goes under. Okay, so you could reverse the, the orientation of this and you can bring this down and the manifestation up through the branches. Does that make sense? If you reverse that, you're literally, you're, it's the same thing, it's just trying to, take us out of some sort of a looking up and, and trying to gain something that is actually um, that is actually not that far away, you know, because we put it way up there, you know. It is actually the roots of every manifestation. Amen. The roots. Who is? The I am. And being in or joined into breathing, as it were, living in accord with, but not beside. Because the accord with is this one that's eternal. Okay. That's, that's it. Okay. <clears throat> so, the scripture we read said death that we might live unto God. Well, we died. In him we died, right? I mean, we were joined in him, right? That should be a common understanding that we died here. We died. He took us into him and then he went to the cross and we died with him, but we actually died in him. I mean, there really was no dying with him. There's only dying with, uh, in him, that's, that's, if we grasp that, then that's, that's the truth, okay? And so that death, and we'll just put a big cross over this, but it's not just the two, two pieces of wood that make the cross. This cross, well, let me just say it like that. There's a cross that is in union with him that happened 2,000 years ago, and there's a cross that happens in us that is the manifestation of the Lamb nature toward 
one another toward, you know, wow, <laughs> toward one another. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was from the Lord. Because <laughs> that really is what, if it's not that, what is it? Oh, my God. In other words, there's no theology that makes up for that. But the most important thing is, is to realize that that lamb death does not create itself. And we cannot create it. And we can't create an environment um, whereby we would be all of a sudden start manifesting the lamb or become, if you will, uh, lamb-like or whatever. We know it's Christ in us. But it's impossible. The only environment is this death that happened in union with him. And the spirit whispered to me and called this the... The settled death. The settled, non-negotiable, non-corruptible, non-attainable outside of the I am. The settled death. And I don't know how that affects you, but when you're struggling to manifest the Lamb in circumstances between you and you know, that person that's sitting in this room, <laughs> whatever, I don't know. Uh, there, we, we wonder, how, well, how, what is wrong with me? Anybody wondered what's wrong with you? Well, I'll tell you what's wrong with you. You're still alive. And you're trying to be dead based on Christ in you or the lamb in you. You're trying to be dead here, here in you and me, we're seeking that. We're, we're wanting that. We, we love the Lord. The, the reason why the striving and the freakouts happen is because we love the Lord, not because we're so far from God. Can't get an amen for that one. You're not that far. In fact, you're, you're in him, but it's not just in him words. You are in the I am death that will never ever be reversed it can only be as it were ignored by you as you pursue a, a life down here okay so dead that we might live unto God okay so just in those scriptures see we again the law just, I think the, the law in there sort of muddies the greater picture that he's also trying to bring out in the next chapter but what do I know I'm not <laughs> I'm not commenting on how the Bible should be written. I'm just saying this is the truth of it. Dead that we might live unto God. So dead. Where is dead then? Dead is here joined into the person of the death. Come on. Joined into the, that's where you're dead. And here, down here is where you live unto God, but you live unto God through the Lamb nature, through His Son. Amen? You better. It better be, it better be the Son. And we'll, we're going to get into, we're going to move somewhere along here into Galatians 2.20, and we're going to divide it up, and we're going to show the part that belongs to the settled death and the part that belongs to the ongoing manifestation and work of that settled death into the lamb selfless death, whatever. Just trying to put it in words that you might understand that really don't make sense. But anyway, certainly not grammatically well. But so dead that you might live unto God by Christ. That's pretty good stuff, okay? So this, this reality, you know, most people are trying to, they don't know this, so most people are trying to be alive unto God so that they can live unto God. They're trying to be alive. I've had so many people over the years, all you speak about is death. This is about life. Yeah, it's the, can I say it, the lamb life. 
This is about his life. This is not about our life. So for you to live dead here that you might live unto God isn't, I'm dead so that I can live. I want to sing. I mean, live, you know, (laughs) unto God. (laughs) And there is... There's no way that that's going to happen apart from finding the settled death, having the settled death revealed, not just, oh, Lord, reveal the lamb in me or something like that. No, manifest the lamb in me. Manifest the lamb in me while I pursue the I am, the I am being the immovable, the settled, the, the like I said, non-negotiable. There is no argument. And he'll take none because this death is what he, what he puts forth so that he can take care of these things. So we say, well, alive, uh, you know, I'm, I'm dead that I might live unto God, but if we do that, then that's the, that's the wrong life. Okay, that's the wrong life because it's not starting. The starting point is death. The ending point is Christ's death as manifested through us as lamb in his nature. That's the order. That's the thing. And a whole lot of people are trying to, you know, avoid death going, well, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to live unto God. I mean, think about it. When you, when you came to, to Jesus, when you came to Jesus, I'll just put a little, a little room over here. When you came to Jesus, you came by, by the cross, by means of the cross. You did. When you came to Jesus, you came to him forgiveness. Where are you getting that at? Did anybody think through that? You came by the means of of the cross. You got saved by means of the cross. So that any other understanding, for example, you know, if you're if you're going to know Jesus, you need to know him in his death. If you're going to know Jesus, you need to know him in his death. Okay? Because you 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 weren't there in the gospels. You don't know him in the gospel. You can read him and say, oh, yeah, I know Jesus. You weren't there. You don't have a relationship with Jesus in the gospels, right? Where do you have a relationship with Jesus? You have a relationship with Jesus at the cross. And your relationship with Jesus began with his death. And even though we were ignorant of it, that was our death also. And that's where he wants us to relate, not just relate. I don't even want to say that because that's many places that's a manifestation. That's where he wants us to know him. This is who he is. This is the I am. Okay? So, um, we're... We're always working like diplomats or politicians or something, you know. We're trying to have peace talks with God or, you know, and we want to sit down and, and uh, negotiate. And again, that word just keeps coming up. There is no negotiation with the Lord. He's not going to change his mind. This is it, and this is also the order. So, so there are certain things that you cannot put on Christ in you that only fit with you joined into the person of the death. Because that, again, is where the I am is. That's where the settled is. And that's where you're going to find the settled death so that you might freely, if you have the settled death, you can live unto God by the Lamb Spirit. It'll happen. It'll manifest. It'll flow through you. You'll be like a branch. But that branch can't do that by trying to do that. It has to be joined into, I, and see, I hate that word now. I really do. I don't hate it, but I, don't, I dislike the word identified. But it's, it's one of those words that at least tells us 
that when you joined into him, you're not some sort of parasite or disease that's roaming around in his body. A, a separate thing. You are joined into that life, that person. That's your identity. That's, that's, and, and you have to, you have to swallow that. You have to take the word and you have to swallow it and let it start filling all of the, the cells of your being so that this is more true to you than you are to you. Now, I venture that it's time to quit, and I also venture that not many of us have really gotten to the place where when we think of ourselves, this is what we think of, this person, this person is who we are and and if we're here it's the I am see we don't even know that person yet to be settled it's the I am not the I do it's it's something settled and eternal I am I am I am you know and this I am and I'll end with this for, for right now because we're done 20 minutes this I am is inclusive, always inclusive. It's always, the I am's always inclusive. I am the bread of life. Well, we're his body. That's, he's talking about us. This is my body. Take, eat, let this fill you. I am the true vine. You're the branch. It's always inclusive. Um, I, I am your wisdom. I'm your righteousness, but it's, ours that he becomes that and he's including us but we're only included not as separate like we're not included as christians <laughs> we're included as him because we've joined into this person all right let's take a short break we'll come back i'll wipe the sweat off my brow and we'll hit it again <laughs> 